welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year, fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. And today is Monday. It's a beautiful day. Just kidding, it's like dark. I don't know why I said that. It's dark and cold. <laughs> but it's sure to be a beautiful day. I am feeling alive and well. I'm such a morning person. It's actually painful sometimes. I feel like Mondays are always a good day for me because like the start of the week. So I've just refreshed from the weekend, you know? So anyways, I feel like I'm like a morning person times 10 on Mondays. I'm sure that's like not relatable content, so I apologize. But anyways, I actually was here for a little while yesterday and had like an existential crisis where I felt like I needed to reorganize my entire classroom library because the way that it was set up, I had literally no room for any more books. So I decided to take out a bunch of the bins and just put the books on the shelf instead of in the different bins. And I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of here for it. I've been spending a lot more time at my local bookstore lately. And that's how they organize their books. It's just all of them on the shelf, just like you would see in like a library and stuff like that. And I was feeling inspired. So anyways, I... I did that and it's not done. I needed to print more labels. So I did that last night slash this morning and I'm excited. I'm gonna work on that for a little bit this morning before I have my planning. I have about an hour until my planning right now. So I think I'm gonna work on that a little bit and I'm gonna insert some footage right here from when I was organizing all of that stuff yesterday because I did kind of film like some B-roll type clips. So let's roll the clips. Here we go. Also this morning, I already decided it was a treat yourself type of Monday, so I did pick up my favorite ever Starbucks order. This is an iced chai latte with pumpkin cream cold foam with like the pumpkin spice little flavoring on there or seasoning or whatever you want to call that. And oh, you guys, this is delicious. It's the best drink ever in the whole wide entire universe. I'm obsessed. Mm. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. This is definitely one of those like Instagram made me try it drinks and since I've tried it the first time like a few months ago I've gotten this so many times it's so good. All right so I'm gonna get all set up and I will see you guys once I put everything away and then we can go head over to the library and maybe do some of that stuff together. I'm super excited about it. So this weekend I bought this teeny tiny little space heater. It's like a little baby but I figured it would be nice just for under my desk especially right now with distance learning where I'm like sitting down so I just got it at Walmart it was like a little bit less than $20 I think and then also if you guys have seen my recent vlogs you know I just picked up this awesome heated blanket this is from Kohl's and I just have it turned on back here and so that way I don't have to be like freezing cold well I'm sitting up here and of course I have my slippers and all that fun stuff I'm wearing like my favorite booties right now I just got these from Kohl's I showed them and I think a couple vlogs ago. Also ignore all the little specks down here. Who knows what that is? Not me. I'm almost done with my drink. It's so good. So I just got all set up back here. I have my labels right over this way. These are from my friend Molly, Molly Malloy on Teachers Pay Teachers. She's also Lessons with Laughter on Instagram and she is phenomenal. I absolutely love these. They're just like such a cool way to organize the books because then it puts them in alphabetical order and also because it's color coded and has the letter like really big on there. The kids can figure out how to put them back really easily. Like they don't have to try to you know figure it out too much so this was the work that I got done yesterday this shelf was already organized this way so I haven't done anything to that shelf yet and then I just emptied off that last shelf and I have a bunch of the books sitting around me right here so I'm gonna get started and work on this for just a little bit and then probably have to finish it later but we'll at least get it started right now and while I do that of course I'm listening to my audiobook I'm almost done I'm only it says 27 minutes away from the end however I listen to it on 1.6 speed and so I'll be done with it a little bit sooner, but this is called The Turn of the Key and it is so good. I really, really am enjoying this book a lot. It is pretty like creepy. <laughs> so if you don't like scary books, you probably will not like that, but I am really enjoying that one. So I'm gonna listen to the end of that before the school day starts as well. Here we go. All 
All right, I'm just about to jump on my video call in just a little bit, but this is all of the progress I've made. So we're getting closer. I have less boxes to still go through. And then I just started like putting them in alphabetical order on the kids' desks just to try to organize them a little bit. So right now I'm at four. Right now I'm at three. <gasps> right now I'm at two. Right now I'm at one. And send it, send it, send it. Wonderful. Let's see, we still have quite a few people who need to send it, send it, send it. Ooh, I love some of you took that improper fraction and you already changed it to a mixed number even though I didn't even ask you to do that yet. Amazing, wonderful. All right, let me double check your work. Let's see, my denominator doesn't change, it stays the same. So 35 is just gonna stay as my denominator. Then I'm doing 21 plus 20. If I look at my ones place, I see that one plus zero is just one. 2 plus 2 in my tens place is 4. So if you said 41 35ths, you got that improper fraction. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Wonderful. Now let's try for that mixed number. I'm asking myself, how many times will 35 fit inside of 41? Count up with me. Ready? 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. What is my numerator going to be? 6. Wonderful. All right, let's put a 6 right here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. 21 25ths minus 20, or sorry, I said 25ths. I'm at 35ths, there we go. Minus 20 35ths. Type it in the chat, but don't send it yet. You can't. I must have moved it. I got too excited. There we go. Type it in the chat, but don't send it yet. Type it in the chat, but don't send it yet. I'm gonna give you five seconds to get it in the chat. All right, here we go, don't send it yet. I know you're gonna wanna send it, but don't send it yet, because right now I'm at five. You're gonna send it when I get to zero, right now I'm at four. Whether you were correct or not correct, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back for solving that box, wonderful. I see a special someone. Our very special, very puzzled friend, Mr. Puzzle Penguin, he always needs our help. Like, come on, he can't do a single problem by himself? Like, really, come on, Puzzle Penguin, but it's okay, we love him despite his flaws. Yeah, from Puzzle Penguin. And there he goes, scratching his brain. Like, what did I do wrong? All right, so we know already because we know all about Puzzled Penguin. We know he made a mistake, right? Because we are familiar with Puzzled Penguin. We've been working with him since we were in like, what? Kindergarten, first grade? We know Puzzled Penguin. We know that he tends to make some mistakes. So I want you to take a moment. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to reread this question to yourself. And I want you to be thinking about what his error was. What mistake did he make, okay? Let me give you 30 seconds. If you have an answer, hold on to it until that timer goes off, okay? So that way everybody else gets a chance to. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and circle that two and three fourths. And what other number do you see in there? Ooh, amazing, fire. Quartz, what do we call that? Our label, woohoo! Quartz is the form of measurement that we are using for this problem. Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna read it one more time. I think we have a couple more things we still need to annotate. All right, now we're on our quick break time, so I give them 10 minutes to get their snack because I really don't want them eating while they're on their Chromebook if I can avoid it. So right now we're right in between math and ELA. When we come back, we'll do ELA, reading, and then writing, and then it will be the end of our morning time. So I just find that this is really helpful to break up our morning and just keep the kids going and like keep their stamina up. This word is device. What's the word? Device. Can you hold the syllables, the amount of syllables in device under your chin? How many syllables in that word device? Hmm. How many syllables, everybody? Two, if you said two, you are correct. Clap it out with me, ready? You see a vowel team in the word device? Uh-huh. The I in what other letter? The E, the E is making the I say its name instead of its sound, long I sound. You can hear that I saying its name, wonderful. Mute your microphone. Some of you have noisy backgrounds. Are those your noisy siblings? Yeah. Go ahead and turn to pages 326 and 327. 326, 327. 
Okay, so now it is lunchtime, so I decided to come back around my books so I can continue working on reshelving my books during this lunchtime. And honestly, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, so this just seems like a fun thing to do while I'm eating. But it's super funny because the first 30 minutes of my students' lunch is my office hour time, and so if they have questions, they can pop on and ask me and all that fun stuff. And we just have so much fun playing cahoots and just talking and doing like polls in the side of the Google Meet. It's just like so much fun. And I'm always like cracking up like it honestly is just like such a fun way to connect with the kids and get to chat with them a little extra So I've loved that but overall today went really well I did a math lesson ELA all that fun stuff and so far so good So we just have online today and tomorrow and then we're back in person on Wednesday Also, if you watched my last vlog, you know that we did a little wish list of books that we were interested in receiving and each kid Selected one book that they were interested in being gifted right before the winter break So that way they have that whole winter break to read it and then just keep it forever and love it and every single book that I put on that list so far was already bought like within I think the first 20 minutes of me posting that video which is seriously just so heartwarming and I told the kids today and they were so excited and also it was a good incentive for my three kids who hadn't selected one yet they were like oh I better go select one so those kids did get to select their books and so I'll add those onto there today so if you're interested in purchasing a book obviously no pressure at all like don't feel like you need to but if you'd like to purchase a book I will be adding three more onto there there. And then I actually went through and added a bunch of books to our classroom library, just like general list. I know most of the people who watch my videos are fellow teachers and you have your own classroom and your own stuff going on. So obviously no pressure, but I did just want to put that out there because the kids were so excited and they're like, oh, Mrs. Hall's like, how is it already bought? Like, how are they already bought so fast? And I told them like it was bought so fast, like in 20 minutes. And they were like, what they just thought that was crazy so so fun and i think it's crazy too um i had had somebody message me on instagram like 20 minutes after i posted the video and they're like all the books are already gone and i was like what and i didn't believe it at first and then when i checked i was so excited so anyways thank you guys so much if you're one of the ones who donated the kids are going to be so incredibly grateful they already are they're so excited to receive their new books and books just bring so much joy so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put in my headphones maybe eat a little lunch maybe work on some books and i will see you guys I don't know at some point <laughs> hey there friends so now it is around 3 40 a little bit past 3 40 so we just finished our day and it went really well hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a couple of clips of me teaching I tried to get me teaching content this time because I realized when I did the watch me teach in my last vlog it was mostly just me like interacting with my kids when they first logged on in the morning and stuff like that so if you guys would like to see more like that let me know it's kind of hard to do when the kids are in the room because I don't want to get their voices on camera because of you know FERPA and also just because I don't think that's the safest or wisest thing to do and so anyways it's hard because like if they're in the room obviously I'm gonna get their noises and like their sounds whereas when I'm on my computer I have my headphones in so you can only hear like my side of the conversation which I just feel like is a lot safer so anyways I have been working so hard on those books. I worked through my whole lunch, which was fine. That's like what I wanted to do. And then one of my team teachers who's next door, she's awesome. She came over and we were talking. So I was like talking and working. And then, yeah, I basically just worked any times I didn't have kids today and I got a lot done. Like I'm almost done. I need to print some more labels. I ran out of, I think C's and H's maybe, <laughs> but I'm gonna print some more of those tonight and bring those back in. And really I only need to use them for like a very small handful of books. And then I do need to organize my nonfiction still. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that yet, but I'll get there. So in the meantime, let me kind of walk you around and show you my piles and my thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so here is the first bookshelf. This is just all A through D, I believe, right now. So I do have some more space at the bottom right there for more Ds, but I think I'm gonna like leave some space there because I don't wanna have them like so full that you can't fit any more books in that section. Then these were just the ones that were there already, so I need to reorganize those, but at least they're already like alphabetically organized. Then over here, I decided to keep all of the Minecraft books in one bin because I have one super student this year who really enjoys the Minecraft books and they're all by different authors so I didn't really want to mix them up so I figured I'll just keep that bin for now and then maybe in the future I'll move them around I don't really know we'll see I have all sorts of different piles going I learned that I have like lots of s's lots of p's like look at all the p's over here I think before I leave today I'm gonna try to get these all on the shelves just so I can see what it looks like and because I'm just excited about it so ignore my tripod but other than that you can see there's just kind of like piles of books literally everywhere 
but I'm excited about it. Also, part of me wants to move this table against that wall. I don't know. We'll see if that happens eventually, but probably not tonight. But I think I'm going to put on an audiobook. I actually just finished my audiobook I was listening to. It was so good. But yeah, I'm going to maybe listen to an audiobook and then work on putting all of these books away. So let's do this. Also, I have a bunch of like duplicate books or books that I'm just not going to hold on to because the kids don't really read them a whole lot. And so I think what I might do is start like a cabinet or a cupboard or something of books that kids can grab for like long weekends and stuff like that that they can actually keep or maybe books as like prize incentives. I don't know. We'll see. But there's some really good ones in here. It's just that I had duplicate copies, which I do like to do sometimes. Like I do like having duplicates for book clubs and stuff. But but for these ones, I just think the kids would enjoy owning these more than they're gonna get used in my classroom. So all sorts of good ones though here. So now it is Tuesday and I'm here back in my classroom library. I forgot to film a little clip at the end of the day yesterday right before I left. So I thought I would quickly update you and show you what the library is looking like so far. I'm not completely done with it, but I'm pretty close. So we'll take it. And then I did want to end the vlog after this so I can start a new one. I actually edited all the vlog up until this point so far. So I hope you've been enjoying it. And I've just been having so much fun filming these extra vlogs and I've just been feeling really motivated to do it because you guys always leave the kindest comments comments and you guys are just so encouraging and supportive and I just appreciate it so so much so thank you for following along with my teaching journey and for following along with these vlogs it seriously means so 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 much to me so anyways let me stop being so melodramatic and I will quickly show you the classroom library here we go I'm so excited okay so I still do have a few books that don't have labels on them yet there's some in there too but I did print some more labels this morning so I'm gonna finish those up today but this gives you a pretty good idea of what it's looking like it's obviously not all the way done I don't have any of my nonfiction yet but I think I'm gonna put those on top but I just absolutely love it I have the A's through H's on the shelf right here this shelf goes from H until P and then this last shelf is P through Z. And I do have quite a few books checked out right now too. So I feel like I might fill it up again, but I do have two other bookshelves and I'm kind of debating moving one out here. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see, but I think it looks so much better and I think the kids are gonna be really excited that it's just gonna be easier for them to access the books. And also it just looks pretty with Molly's awesome labels. So I'm here for it. So that is all for this vlog. Stay tuned for the next one so you can see some updates on my classroom library as well as maybe some more teach with me clips and stuff like that. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I would love to have you stick around. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.